So the first compartment, the speed is 0 0.24 meter per second. So you can see the speed at the first compartment is 0 0.24 meter per second. Okay. And then when it enters the second part of the uh, flocculation tank, the speed now is 0 0.18. Okay. That means you must have different distance between buffers. So okay, DBB is distance between buffers. Okay. And this one, DBB1, also an, another, th uh, another thing that we have to measure or we have to calculate. And then after it goes to the third uh, compartment also, they have different speed, which is 0 0.08 meter per second. Okay. Since we are referring to example 2, okay, so we have already calculated the width, which was 9.3 meters. It's not going to change. Okay. And the length also is 38 meters and the depth 1.36 meter okay so it's not changing so now how do we find out uh, the number of buffers that we have and the number of channels and also the distance between buffers okay let us focus on one particular of a uh, segment and let's say the first segment of the channel okay so i highlight it with the black ring like that okay so if you remember if i zoom out uh, zoom zoom make it big okay i don't know zoom in or zoom out get confused whenever you teach okay so that uh, area of uh, segment okay that i have already circled just now so basically it's like this so this is the distance between buffer that we would like to find out at compartment one so Remember this diagram in our previous video. So that is the J, the flow rate times time. And then this is the volume of tank. And then this is the depth. Okay, the depth has been designed. So it will not change. It's 1.36 meter. Right, we know that V is equal to DBB times J times D. D is there. D is already being given. So we have to find out our volume and J. Okay. So the volume, I'm talking about in one second. So the volume is Q times T. So I'm, ass I, I'm assuming my T is one second. So this is simply one second. And our Q was from example two, which was, I think it was 15 MLD. Isn't that right? Can someone help me? I do not have notes right with me right now. Yes, yes, yes. 15 MLD. 15 MLD. So, Simply 15 MLD times 1 second. Okay? So, V is equal to DBB times J times D. So, DBB, something that we like to find out is V divided by J times D. So, D is given already. So, we would like to find out our V first. The volume, V is equal to QT. And then, this is 15 MLD times 1 second. So 15 MLD times 1 second. So those value is all the conversion unit from second to day because second and day do not match. So you need to the we need to do the conversion factor over here. So can day with cancel with that day, second with cancel with this second, minute with cancel with this minute, and hour will cancel with that minute hour. So we will end up getting a liter. Okay, our volume in liter. And that's why we would like to change it into meter cube. So we have to times with another conversion unit. So liter will cancel, that eventually you will get your meter cube, your volume in meter cube. So if you do that, you want to use your calculator, perhaps double check with me with my answer, with my answer. Anyone, the volume. 0 0.17. 17 something yes it sounds correct i think 0 0.1763 uh, three, three six meter cube okay that means we have already got your v there so the depth is there 1.36 so it's a matter of finding out your j and j is the flow rate okay so 0 0.24 meter per second and since we are assuming one second so second times very simple so that j is only 0 0.24 meter and that is the reason for me to assume my time is one second. If you do not like to assume one second, does not matter. You want to assume one hour, uh, 35 minutes, or whatever things that you like. But by, 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 if you choose any other numbers than one second, 
your calculation will be difficult. Let's say you are you like to choose 35 minutes. So you put 35 minutes there, so your calculation will be a bit complicated. You cannot simply being cancel each other out. You know, like 35 minutes there, and this is uh, 0 0.24 meter per second, so you cannot cancel. You can't easily find your total distance. Okay? If you change your time, definitely your volume will be different and also your uh, J also will be different. Okay? To simplify the calculation, I choose one check, one second. And that's the reason for me choosing one second. Can I proceed? No, wait, 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 wait. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Now we have already got your V, which is there. The D, which is there. And also our J, which is there. So it's very simple to find your distance between baffles. So distance between buffer is those value, okay, volume divided by J times the depth of the tank, you will end up getting your dBB to be, yes, any answer, any attempt? 0 0.5318. It sounds, it sounds to be alright, okay, 0 0.53 meters. Therefore, the distance between buffer in compartment 1 is 0 0.53 meters. Alright, so we've done the first part, finding out the distance between buffer. So we would like to find out the number of channels. Okay, remember the length of the tank has already been calculated in, my, in our example 2. So it was 38 meters. So we know that the number of channel in a compartment, so I assume it to be M, times the distance between buffer, which we have just calculated, it was 0 0.53, if I'm not mistaken, plus number of buffer in a compartment. Okay, we know that the number of compartment, uh, sorry, number of buffer in a compartment is less 1 than the number of channel. So it's actually M minus 1. Okay times the thickness of the buffer nothing changed okay the thickness of the exam uh, the buffer was 0 0.075 meters meter all right so we just put all that in numbers 38 there and then m is something that we like to find out this is our distance between buffer and then this is the number of uh, buffer which is less than one then the number of channels and this is the thickness of the buffer so with that if you try to rearrange this, okay, you will obtain your M to be certain number. Basically, you uh, please settle the calculation, okay? Finish off the calculation. Okay. Has anyone got the M? Anyone would like to give a try on the value of M? I would appreciate that much. Yes? No? Not yet. Not yet, okay. 7.93? No. Is it? I do not know. Hold on. It's 69.9? 62.9? I do not know why you get 7.93. Oh, yeah. have I done something wrong? Yeah. 62.93, yes, sir. 62.93, is it? I do not know. But I know I think this one yes, yes. this is the right answer. Sixty two sixty two point nine three, eh? Yeah, okay. So right, that's great. Okay, so we have to round out round out uh, to the number to be sixty-three. Therefore, in the first compartment we have sixty-three channels. Okay, it's a lot of channels in the first compartment. 